Oh, hello. It's Miss Library back with Beatrix. We're just having a little bit of tea, reading. It's lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Can you smell my tea? See it? It's peppermint. It's lovely. Just put a little honey in it. It tastes so good. I wonder if you drink tea. What, Beatrix? Oh, okay. He's telling me, put the tea away, Miss Library. It's story time. All right, I'm going to put my tea right back here. How is everybody today? What, Beatrix? Oh, he's telling me, come on, everyone, get on your magic carpet. He's ready for the story. All right, everybody, are you on your magic carpet? Beatrix, are you ready to get on your magic carpet? He says, see ya, go on. Okay, he's ready. All right, my friends, let's see. Put your penguin eyeballs in. Put your great big elephant ears on. Bonk, bonk. Wow, now you can really see and hear the story. Put your tortoise mouth in. I once had a tortoise, his name was Charlie, and we'd feed him lettuce, and this is how he'd eat. He'd go like this, he'd go. He was slow. I wonder if you can eat like a tortoise. How about for now, we zip it up, Put your seatbelts on. Click. Oh, we forgot somebody. Oh, he's going to be mad at me. I'm so sorry, Berto. I'm so sorry, Berto. Come on out, Berto. Miss Library, how could you forget me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Hello, everybody. You know I am Berto, the bookworm. I think you are ready for the story. But first, you know what I love, right? I love to read. I love to sing. I love to kiss. Are your seatbelts on? I think everyone has their seatbelt on, right, everybody? Tighten it up. Good. Okay, count us down, Berto. Okay, where are we going today? Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Hold on, everybody! Whoa. Guys, hold on! Oops. Ah! I'm okay. Are you okay, Miss Library? Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. One day I will get better at landing. Yes, Miss Library. Oh, <gasps> Miss Library, look. I see an elephant. <gasps> I see a giraffe. Whoa. And a monkey? And, and a zebra? Whoa. A lion? Oh. Oh, I see. We're at a zoo. Yes, Miss Library, it's a zoo, it's a zoo. Oh, I like zoos. Me too. Do you guys like zoos? I wonder what your favorite zoo animal is. Oh, I think I like, hmm, oh, that's a hard one. Gorilla? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe a penguin? Hmm, I don't know, Miss Library, I love all the animals. It doesn't matter, you can like them all. Okay, Miss Library, read the story. <sighs> Berto, can you maybe say please? Of course, please read the story. Thank you. How much better is that? Maybe polite bossy pants? Ah, yes. Okay, I'm gonna read the story. Today, we're reading a story called A Sick Day for Amos McGee. And it's written by Will, uh, excuse me, Philip C. Stead and illustrated by Aaron E. Stead. I, what is that? Or an elephant. And what else do you see right there? A penguin? Yeah, it looks like they're playing cards. I, I didn't know that elephants and penguins played cards. Here's Amos. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when the alarm clock clanged, ding, 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 he swung his legs, there's his bed, out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. Look at his slippers. Beatrix likes them. <laughs> he also has a teddy bear. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Oh, he has a teacup just like mine. 
belly full and ready for the work day, he'd amble out the door. Look at the, look at the mouse on the bird. Can you see that? Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Five. Do you see the number five right there? Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. Ah, oh, 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. See, he's waiting at the bus stop. Guys, look who's on the bus. Oh, my gosh. How in the world did Beatrix get in another story? Oh, we, and he's reading. He's reading a story. I see a balloon, too. Huh. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friend. I wonder if you can spot the monkey. Do you see the monkey? Do you see a giraffe? He would play chess with the elephant. I, I didn't know elephants played chess. And the elephant, he would think and think and he thought and he thought and he thought before making a move. He would run races with the tortoise who never, ever lost. The bird and the mice are cheering the tortoise on. He would sit quietly with the penguin, who was very, very shy. Look, the penguin's wearing socks. Look at all the penguins behind. I like this one. He's reading, he's reading a book. He's reading aloud. He would lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. What color scarf is the rhinoceros wearing? Yes, red. At sunset, he would read stories to the owl. Look at the bird, likes the story too. See the bird sitting down? That really is kind. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles. Do you know what the sniffles are? When your nose is all stuffed up and your <laughs> sniffling is running and the sneezes, achoo, and chills, oh. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back again and said, ugh, I don't think I'll be going to work today. He's got his teddy bear and his, there are slippers. I think the mouse might be concerned. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. Looks like the bird's trying to help the rhinoceros. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks. Ooh, like me, Roberto. I like all the storybooks. He was scratching his head with concern. Do you know what concern means? It means he's worried. He's very worried about Amos. Where could he be? Where's Amos, the animals wondered. Oh, what's happening? Are they leaving the zoo? Later that day, look at the penguin is holding the elephant. Aww. Of course, the owl has a book. What color? Do you see that balloon? The red balloon? Hmm. What do you think they're doing? Are they waiting for something? Looks like the bird's going with them too. They're waiting at what? What's that? A bus stop. They're waiting at a bus stop. I wonder where they're going. Ah. What's that? Bus number five. 
I wonder what you would do if you got on a bus with a bunch of animals. That'd be kind of cool. And the bird's going to, he's going to ride on top. Hooray! My good friends are here. Oh, he really does look happy, doesn't he? How kind of them. How very kind. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell. Where's Amos hiding? Yes, Amos hid beneath the covers. Amos yawned. I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'm beginning to feel much better, thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Look at the tortoises bringing the tea to everybody. Look at the elephant is holding his teacup. It's a little like Miss Library's, right? Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the, what's that? Elephant. He said good night to the tortoise. He said good night to the penguin. He said good night to the rhinoceros. And good night to the owl, who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. That's a nice story, isn't it? I like that story a lot. I think I'm gonna finish my tea. How about you guys? Maybe you should have some tea too. Maybe you could try some. It's good. See you next time.